Hey guys, LJ here from LJ Films and today I want to talk about sound and I have a fancy equipment right in front of me here and I will briefly talk about it and share it to you guys. Now, um, when I record my audio, especially for my feature films or short films I've done, I usually use a shotgun microphone to capture dialogues and different kind of sounds. Uh, but I've noticed that shotgun microphones are not the use of capturing great dialogues. Uh, the traditional way of using the um, the microphone on Hollywood sets were to use a cardroid microphone and shotgun microphones are not cardroid microphones. It is a directional uh, microphone that captures a sound system from a distance from five to six feet. Now that is good for capturing uh, audio from your ENG camera where you used to hook up your XLR inputs and capture sounds from an interview and such like that. For capturing dialogues and really crisp, rich sound, you're gonna be needing a separate microphone. And the microphone here that I have here is from Octava. It's a microphone made in Russia. It comes with an instruction manual and it comes you different um, capsules that you can change to adapt to this microphone and its XLR input. It requires your 48 phantom power and all the features will be written down in the show notes. Uh, but it gives you this uh, kind of a drawing system that um, you can see right here. I don't know if you can see that clearly, uh, but what this is, it is a um, signal that the microphone captures. So depending on which capsule you have, these are the pattern that pick up from your um, dialogue. So as you can see, some you know, bass are cut enough, some mids are being picked up and your highs and such. So, and having this around you and when you treat your audio, it gives you a reference which one to treat and which one to decrease and, and such on on your equalizers. Aside from that, we also have a microphone that comes with a nice box. Now, some microphones does not come with a nice casing and you know, I've, I've experienced it on my microphones where just came by with a pouch and that pouch kind of gives pressure and microphone may get damaged. Uh, but this one comes with a nice treasure box, looks cool. And once you open that up, it is foam padded. As you can see, your microphone is well protected. I'm just gonna briefly go over what's in the actual box. Now, in the box, first you can see the capsule. Now, this capsule is the one I have here is a cardroid capsule, and you can also choose different kind of capsules. There's a capsule such as cardroid, hypercardroid, and also an omni capsule that you can use. But the one I have here is a movie set version, so this has all of the package that you will be needing to capture great dialogues on set. Now, the next thing I see, and which seems to be an interesting part for me, is this little adapter thing, which goes in the middle of your microphone and your capsule. What this is, is a minus 10 dB pad. Now, if you're in a crowd or a really noise, noisy situation, and if your field recorder or any recorder you have may not go as low as it can, by adapting this, it decreases the sensitivity of your microphone to minus 10 dB. So if you're in a noisy environment, use this, but I wouldn't use this a lot because I shoot with my DSLR and I wanna capture as high signal to noise ratio as possible. So I use this at times, but mostly I just adapt my capsule to my microphone. Now, the next thing we can see here is a actual um, adapter. Um, this is not a shock mount, um, I've tried mounting this onto a boom pole and it transfers a sound that comes out of your hand. So I wouldn't recommend you use this, um, but it is a great way to adapt your microphone into a mic stand for a 3H thread hole. So it really comes with it, so it's a great thing to have. But again, I've experienced with this, so I wouldn't use this as a shock mount use because it does transfer the noise from your hand to your microphone. And also another thing I like about this is that um, this is a 3H thread, so you can adapt this into a boom pole or anything, but aside from that, this has a threaded joint here, which actually adapt, makes the system rotatable. So you can make this a 90 degree angle or a reversed or a 45 degree angle, but it stays there nice and tight because of this tight joint. Now, aside from this, the last thing we have here on the box is the microphone itself. Octava is a brand from Russia, and it claims to be that there are fake versions that are being sold on eBay. So be careful if you find this um, on eBay or anything like that. Make sure to just, you know, purchase this from their website, octava.com. They also have distributors from USA, which is great to hear. Now, one thing I like about this um, microphone is very small. Now, you may think size matters. You may think like the longer it looks, you know, it looks more professional or the better the quality will be. You're wrong. Um, first off, having this small compact, you know, kit right here, everything's on here, is really 
um, convenient to have it all, you know, fit it in your bag and transfer and, you know, move on different locations. You don't want to fill up your, you know, film truck with full of microphones and equipments like that. And also if you're talking about quality, this is one of the, you know, high quality um, sound I've ever heard on this price range, you know, uh, the price is around $200 or so. Um, I'm gonna do this a comparison with my shotgun microphone, which is the Rode NTG2, which is around this same price range or, or on the $200 range. Now, again, it's very durable, solid, and it says it's made in Russia. And to connect the capsule to the microphone, it is simple. It's just by getting your capsule and screwing it in at the tip of your microphone. And make sure not to over tighten. There are some instructions you can find on this uh, manuals you know, things to use, things to not use, you know, using the phantom powers and such. Again, speaking of phantom power, it requires a 48 volt. It does not come with it or any battery that you can mount this on here. So that's the con of it. But most of your field recorders or anything like that has a 48 phantom power. So here's the microphone itself. It's small. It's just like a size of my, um, um, what can I say? A palm perhaps. Um, the accessory that I, I would recommend you to buy when purchasing this microphone, uh, it also recommends on the website, is a Rycoat um, windshield. It is a um, bubble that actually mount this onto your microphone and it, I think it also comes with an um, adapter for your boom pole so that you know it also uh, works as a shock mount. Again, this is still great. You can attach this onto your microphone like so and then mount it on your mic stand or a boom pole or anything like that. But you know, as I said, noise will be transferred to your microphone and that's something you don't want to do on film sets. Now another little thing that came with the um, box is this little foam. You know, most of the microphone has this. It's for your pops and tss and all that, you know, poppings. So it prevents from that, but you know, I don't really use this often. But having the foam right here actually helps you to eliminate those pops and you know, all that kind of distortion on your microphone. So now I'm gonna show you guys some um, comparison with my Rode NTG2, which is around the same price range. Now we're gonna test these two microphones on here. Um, now um, I, on the left, we have the Octava microphone, and on the right, we have the NTG2 from Rode um, shotgun microphone. Now the shotgun microphone is a lot more forward to me. The reason to that is because the capsule in the NTG2 is found right here, not on the tip. So the, cap the sound being captured from here would be, you know, around the same distance from the Octava. Now, um, I'm not doing this scientifically, so there might be, you know, um, difference and such, but I'm getting as close as possible, and the right way would be booming it at the top, but we don't have anyone to hold the boom pole for me, so I'm just doing it in the table. What I want you two guys to hear is not a, you know, which is louder, which is silent, because I'm sure the Rode microphone will win the fact that it's a shotgun and directional microphone. What I want you guys to see is the um, how rich the sound is. I'm not gonna treat this audio and how clear the sound um, picks out of my mouth because that's what we're comparing and how this performs in a feature set and to capture great dialogues. Now, um, I'm gonna say some lines and you know transfer between this microphone and to the Rode microphone and back to here and back to here for you to hear the difference. I'm just gonna read from the instruction manual for you to see the sound quality. The microphone parts explained. Cardroid capsule for wide range pickup in front of the microphone, ideal for vocal use and many studio applications. Hyper cardroid capsule for a more directional pickup, used for pinpointing a sound source and excluding unwanted nearby noise. Omnidirectional capsule will pick up sounds from all directions around the microphone. Minus 10 dB pad to be screwed in between the body and the capsule to reduce the microphone sensitivity by 10 dB. Useful when micing a particularly loud sound source, such as a guitar cabinet at a high volume, to achieve a more manageable signal. Now you guys heard the difference, and now I'm going to go back to the studio to give you guys a final conclusion. Now you guys heard the comparison between the two microphones. Now, um, in my case, as for the quality goes, I say this is a definite winner. And for its price, this really competes with the higher end microphone, you know, uh, that microphone that ranges until $1,000. I think this really competes with those range. Now, if you really want me to um, finalize the comparison between the Rode microphone I have, um, I don't know what to say because um, they're both different microphones. If they were both two shotgun microphones that I can compare, I can do that, but um, they're used for different uses. Now, if I'm going to record my dialogues on film or anything like that, I would use this instead of the shotgun microphone. The fact that this has the better quality of the um, dialogues and also the fact that it is a cardroid and picks up a sound around the mouth. 
Um, but in case of the Rode NTG2, it is really directional, so you need, you need to put it down to their heart or you know to their mouth to get great sound. But Rode NTG is a sensitive microphone that picks up a pattern which is far away from your subject, so it wins in that case, and it also you know keeps a nice quality sound. In this case, it's for close range, so you both have pros and cons. So you know I couldn't really decide which one is a clear winner. Now. Um, if you are interested to pick this item up, you know, I will recommend you to pick this one up if you haven't heard about Octava. And it is the, what was the model again? MK012 microphone. It sounds great. You've heard the sound test. So if you're interested to pick this item up, you can head over to their website. They also have different microphones for different uses, such as a large diaphragm, small diaphragm microphones, and etc. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this review. You can check out more content on my Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.